Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it seems like Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck's divorce will be messy. So here's the deal. Because they had no prenup. So everything they acquired over their roughly two-year marriage is community property, which means the assets acquired during the marriage are divided equally. One of the biggest assets in play is Ben Affleck's successful production company called Artist Equity, in which he's partnered with his best friend, Matt Damon. And Matt Damon could get dragged into this messy divorce since he's a major stakeholder in the company. The company was formed in November 2022, four months after Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck tied the knot. So Jennifer Lopez would be entitled financially to a share of the profits generated by Ben Affleck's company's recent and upcoming hit movies, including Air, Unstoppable, The Instigators, Small Things Like These, and The Accountant Too. And Ben Affleck would be entitled financially to J-Lo's projects as well. J-Lo filed for divorce from Ben Affleck last week, and they have been trying to hash out a settlement for months. Remember, I reported that Ben Affleck wanted Jennifer Lopez to file for divorce first so it could save her image. So he was waiting and she was delaying the process, but she finally did it last week because J-Lo was dragging that divorce filing. Ben Affleck been checked out months ago, if not a year ago. He been checked out, but J-Lo was fighting, fighting for that marriage. I don't know why, because their marriage had been over since March. And J-Lo listed their date of separation as April 26th. But of course, J-Lo loves attention. She loves playing media games. She kept wearing her wedding ring and she forced him to keep his on. He didn't want to, but he kept it on so she could save face because she was not ready. So he been checked out. He checked out. He probably checked out right after the wedding night. Who knows, right? Because he said, once he sobered up, he regretted the wedding. He regretted the marriage. He regretted marrying Jennifer Lopez. He's been done. He's not even wasting time because there are reports saying he has been spending time with Robert F. Kennedy's Jr., 36-year-old daughter, Kit Kennedy. An insider revealed that Ben Affleck and Kit Kennedy have been spotted at the Polo Lounge at the Beverly Hills Hotel and other hot spots. Wow. And Kit Kennedy declined to comment. Wow. <laughs> so he's been cheating. And Jayla was trying to save the marriage. That's why she was fighting so hard for the marriage. She knew about Kit Kennedy. So she was fighting, she was in competition with Kit Kennedy. One thing about a narcissist, they don't like to lose. Oh, no, no, no. When it comes to another person, oh, no, no, no. They are not losing. They will fight tooth and nail. They do not lose, okay? But Jayla lost. She lost the fight. Kit Kennedy won the battle. Oh my gosh, it makes sense. That's why she did not want to remove her wedding ring. She kept that thing on and she forced him to keep his on because she was still competing for him with Kit Kennedy. This is nuts. This is a mess. And now a person close to J-Lo, yeah, Benny Medina, probably J-Lo herself, is saying that J-Lo feels embarrassed over their failed marriage because she was convinced she and Ben Affleck were finally going to make their love work and to add salt to the wound jennifer lopez tried desperately to save their marriage while ben affleck showed no interest in it at all he hasn't shown any commitment and interest in making their marriage work so he definitely was seeing other people while j-lo was fighting for that marriage now we know why she was doing all of that in the media she was just doing too much she really was doing too much and i feel that these two did not need to get married they dated what 25 years ago and it did not work out then so why even get back together 25 years later if it didn't work out then definitely not gonna work out now and also he also cheated on her then okay so i feel like until jayla learned to love herself until jayla learned to be 
by herself. She will always deal with men like this, men who don't really care. I mean, Jello is not a nice person, and Jello has issues too. So I feel like her issues and plus the men she picks, yeah. Because J-Lo is very clingy. She's very needy. She claims she loves love. She seeks attention. She loves attention. She loves publicity. She loves and craves fame. People like that will never be happy because they need people to validate them. They need to, people to make them feel good about themselves. So, and J-Lo dated regular men. She married regular men. And they still didn't work out. So that should tell you J-Lo is the problem because if you're dating regular men that's not in that sick, disgusting industry and you're still failing, so that should tell you she is the problem. And I feel like J-Lo is, what, 56 years old? She should just, like, live her life, travel, you know, enjoy her kids, and that's it. No need to get married ever again. For what? No need to get married, Okay. I feel like J-Lo should just be single and that's it because she did it so many men. Four failed marriages, like enough. Like take a break, go learn to love yourself, go learn to be by yourself for a while. <laughs> take a break, my gosh. That's all I have for J-Lo. You guys, before you go, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos. Thank you for tuning in, okay? See you in the next one. Peace.